Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is I, Christina Senpai, and in today's video, we're going to be ranking your favorite anime characters. Yay! Um, I, if I sound a little bit congested today, it's because I am. I'm getting sick, apparently, which is so great, because after not being sick for a whole year, I have now had two colds. This is going to be my third one, I guess, this year, so I'm really psyched about it. Just super stoked and in order to try to combat this because I do have to go to work tomorrow I'm going to drink this tea until until my cold is gone forever and I can't feel it anymore that's some good health quick update before we get started I cut my hair as you can see yay I love it so much I love how I say that <laughs> every single time I do something different with my hair but it's just because I have a vision I show it to my coworker. my coworkers make my dreams come true and then I love it and that's and that's what it is and it's here and it's amazing and it's here to stay for a little while at least so yeah hair is short I'm getting a cold that's all the updates I have for right now um, so basically what I did is I asked um, my friends and followers on Instagram to send me some anime characters that they would like me to rank, and that's what we're going to be doing today. I've always wanted to do this on um, this tier list. I feel like I need to put headphones on because like I'm in front of a computer and this is like what the YouTubers do, and even though like I might not need to hear anything, it's going to make me look like I know what I'm doing. So I'm wearing headphones and also drinking this tea. So I'm ready. To rank your characters. Just a disclaimer, don't be offended if your favorite anime character isn't my favorite. Um, we, you know, just, just letting you know. I don't think anyone's going to be offended because honestly, like, even though I may not, like, they may not be my favorite favorite, they're not going to be, like, like, all the way down the list. Like, I feel like I'm pretty, uh, unless I don't really know this character that well, um, I don't, I don't think there's going to be any like really bad ones um, or anything pretty low on the scale I think that for the most part the ones you guys sent me I I love like almost all of them so you know it's gonna be great <laughs> the first character I have on my list right now is Zenitsu from Demon Slayer I do I love him okay so this is how I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know real quick this is how I'm going to be rating things if you're S tier like straight up I would die for you like that's just how much I love you like if you're S tier I would die for you and there are no questions asked like you're my favorite um A tier is I really really love you and you're great but I don't know like you're not like I wouldn't die for you but you're amazing and I love you just the same B tier is I love this character but um I don't know there's just like they're not my favorite like they're just like a good character but I wouldn't I wouldn't you know say that they're like the best or anything I would just be like oh yeah I really like that character it's really cool or either that or I just um, haven't seen enough of that character to know if I like them that much C tier is pretty much the same thing except for like I don't know it just goes by how I feel you know I'm, it's just gonna go by how I feel essentially <laughs> And they can't all be S tier and A tier, okay? So that's the point of this video. <laughs> and then D tier is like, obviously, if you're, if I put you on D, like you're probably garbage, in my heart. Maybe not garbage, garbage, but you're like definitely not my favorite, and I wouldn't, I don't really stand you that much, you know? So, okay, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna start with our first, our first lovely little good boy. Um, we've got Zenitsu from Demon Slayer. Um, I would say Zenitsu is gonna be like B. I would put him in B. Just because I love him, like I was saying. I love his voice actor. He also does the voice of Dobby in My Hero Academia. Um, and I think he's a great, I think he's really well rounded. Um, but I mean, I guess he would, I wouldn't call him well rounded. He's not really stable, but I love, he has a very interesting, um, character. I don't know if that makes sense. He is a very interesting character, you know? So, I would put him I would put him B tier. He's not my fave favorite, but I do love him. So, he's going in B for now. Soggy Sailor Moon, uh, S tier. I would fucking die for that girl. That's my bitch, okay? <laughs> Straight up. I don't know if you guys know this, but here it is. If you didn't know, I have a Sailor Moon tattoo. Um, so yeah, I love her very much. Um, so this character is Matsuda, I think is his name, and he's from Death Note. Um, I, I read Death Note, and also I watched a little, I, I watched like half of the anime, but 
I don't really remember this character, and I don't know why. I guess he's not, I mean, it's been a long time. It's been like four or five years since I watched it, so, or read it. So since I don't remember him, I'm sure he's a great guy, and I don't really, I feel like if whoever sent this to me, he's probably like the purest bean, but I just, I don't remember him, so I'm going to put him on C, just because. I'm sure he's not a bad person, but I just don't, like I said, I don't remember. Um, Archer from Fate's Day Night, or Fate's Day Night Unlimited Blade Works. Ugh, I love Archer so much, so, um, he's definitely one of the top ten anime daddies of all time, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna put him in A, just because he's a great character all around. He's just there for you, okay? Archer is just there for you. I mean, technically, he has to be, because you're, like, indebted to each other if you summon him, but... It's fine. He's there. He's there for you and he's great. Um, Asta! Okay, Asta from Black Clover. I don't know if you guys know this, but I fucking love Asta so much. He's like literally everything. I love a lot of anime characters, so I'm probably gonna say this a lot, but yeah, Asta's a good boy and I would put him on A. Maze Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> yeah, that's going in S tier. Um, if he can die for his family and for his friends and for his... his just... If he can just die for other people, I can die for him. Okay, so Maze Hughes, S tier, amazing. He's going up there, he's got, he's basically S tier is godlike, godlike people. This character is called Chrome. Um, he's from Dr. Stone. I haven't watched Dr. Stone yet. So, uh, I wish, I wouldn't say there's a lot, but there are definitely some characters in here that I haven't yet watched the anime, so. I'm gonna put him in C for now because I haven't seen Dr. Stone. He could be a great, amazing character, but I just haven't had time to watch it yet. I'm still watching Naruto at the moment. I haven't started any other new animes. It's killing me. I feel like I could watch like 10 animes in the time that it's taking me to finish watching Naruto, but I'm fucking plugging right along, dude. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna put Chrome in C for now. So this is Sakura from Cardcaptor Sakura, and I'm so sorry, Franco, you're gonna kill me, you're gonna fucking murder me, but I still, I still haven't watched Cardcaptor Sakura, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he has told me to watch this show, like, way too many times, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm gonna watch it, I'm gonna watch it right now, I'm gonna watch it today, but I just haven't had, I just haven't had any, like, I don't know if it's, like, in Spanish you say, like, no tengo gana, like I don't feel like it or don't want to. It sounds like really fucked up when you say I don't feel like it, but it's more like I just, like, I guess I haven't been in the mood to watch Cardcaptor Sakura, so I just kind of keep pushing it off, even though, like, it's magical girls and stuff like that. And, you know, I love me some magical girls, but I just haven't, I don't know, I just haven't really been in the mood to watch her yet, but I will. Eventually, I will, before I die, watch Cardcaptor Sakura, okay? I promise. He also said. Claro. Clara was her like little cat thing. Super cute. I'm sure once I watch the show, I'm gonna love them. But right now, they're just going with all the other characters that I can't remember. Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist. Um, he is definitely an AA tier. He is one of the first anime good boys I've ever. Well, I would say Al is more like a good boy. Ed is really good. Obviously, he's fighting for his brother. He's amazing. Um, he's a great shonen protagonist. I love him very much. He was my first shonen protagonist, I think, after uh, Dragon Ball Z, I guess if you can count that. But yeah, I love Ed. He's got a special place in my heart, so he's going in A tier. Bakugo Katsuki! Yes! He's going in A tier. He's amazing, and I love him so much. I know a lot of people fucking hate Bakugo, but I love him. <laughs> he's great. He's a great character. He's got good development, no matter what anybody says. If you read the manga, you will see his character does develop. So don't worry, he doesn't say an asshole forever. I mean, he's like gonna be an asshole. He's like everyone's favorite tsundere, you know? That's who Bakugo is. Everyone's favorite tsundere. He's also a, a Baku Bay. He's also a Bapi, so straight up A tier. I love Bakugo. Um, Goku. Okay, so honestly, my cousin submitted this one, and he's gonna like probably be so mad at me. And I'm so sorry, but okay, the thing is, is like, I like, I prefer other characters over Goku. Like, he's not my favorite. I feel like he's cool, he's strong, he's very, you know, gung-ho, and he's very optimistic and positive and really cool, and like, I love him for that, but I wouldn't, um, 
I wouldn't say he's my favorite. Honestly, I feel like in the Dragon Ball franchise, I would just go for like Vegeta or Piccolo or literally any other character who's <laughs> a good father figure or a good dad or just a good person because I feel like Goku just, I don't know, like he's, he's like a, oh, god damn it, he's a man child, okay? <laughs> Basically, he's not my favorite character, so that's why I'm putting him in C. I've never really had a moment watching Dra like I've never watched Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z all the way through, but every time I watch it, I just am not feeling. I'm not feeling the vibes. <laughs> Sorry. I love you to my cousin. I love you, but going in C tier. Next up, we have Leo Fortio. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, he's from this new movie that came out recently called Promare. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I've heard so many good things about it so far though and I really really want to. Um, so far the animation looks so cool and like the story seems really cool. So I'm gonna honestly put him at B because I feel like I'm gonna love him. So I'm gonna put him at B just aesthetically. Going off aesthetics I'm gonna put him at B. But I don't really know anything about the character and I don't know really anything about the movie itself so I have to watch that still I will watch it <laughs> okay Kakashi straight up S tier I would fucking die for him any day of the week <laughs> bye <laughs> I do that so fast <laughs> literally would do anything for him I don't <laughs> I don't care <laughs> I don't care what it is best character best man best has bando he's everything Kazuma from Konosuba uh I don't know I would say I like Kazuma I do, but he's, I would say, he's not, like, he's a good character, he's funny, he provides entertainment, but I wouldn't, um, I would say, like, the best part of Konosuba for me are the, all the girls, like, Darkness and Megumin and Aqua, like, they're amazing, so I would put Kazuma at, at um, B. Lel, Leloch? 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 V. Britannia? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, I could be wrong. Um, he's from Code Yes, and I haven't seen that yet, so I am going to have to put him in C tier as well. But going off aesthetics, he does look cool. He kind of, I don't know, that anime looks a little, like, I guess maybe it was um, animated in the same year as Yu-Gi-Oh, but it kind of reminds me. It has, like, the kind of the same vibes when I look at the posters and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Levi. I actually, I've only seen season one of Attack on Titan. And I don't remember meeting him in season one. And I think if we do meet him, it's like at the end. So I'm going to put him in C tier because I don't really remember him all that much. But I know he's like everyone's favorite Bobby. So, I mean, I'm sure when I finish Attack on Titan, if I do. Which I know people are telling me like I have to finish it because it's apparently so, so, so good right now. But I don't know. L from Death Note. Um, I'm going to put L... <sighs> I don't know if I should put him in A or B. Eh, I'm going to put him in B for now, just because even though I love him, and he, I know he's a great character, and I know that's like blasphemy to some people, um, I'm just going to put him in B. It's not that I don't love him. B doesn't mean I don't love you. B just means that you're just, you're a good character, but I don't want to, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to describe. But B isn't bad, so it's fine. Guy Sensei! <laughs> um, I will put Guy Sensei in A. I fucking love him so much. He's everything. Misaka from Attack on Titan. I'm gonna put her in B tier as well. I actually really like, she was the only character I really liked in Attack on Titan in the first season. I was like, oh, Misaka, she's cool. Like, she's, she's badass. She knows what she's gotta do. She basically keeps Eren in check the whole time, so I love her. She can be B tier. Naruto! Naruto's going in A tier for now. Um, I love him, but I'm not I'm not even on Shippuden yet, so I can't say that I would die for him yet, but I definitely love him a lot. Neji. You know, when I first started watching Naruto, like I didn't really care for him that much. Not because well, Partly because he was kind of a dick to Hinata in like in the student exam arc, but then actually after I saw his backstory, I was like, okay, Nanji, I can fuck with you. I really like you a lot. Um, so I would put him in. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. I would put him in B tier. I feel like I'm like doing a lot of people dirty, but like I said, B isn't bad. Okay, Rin Tosaka. 
Um, okay, I love Rin so much <laughs> from Fate Stay Night and Unlimited Blade Works as well. So I'm gonna definitely put her in A tier. Rin is probably my favorite character in the Fate series. I just love her a lot. She's a badass. Orochimaru. First of all, nobody, <laughs> nobody sent me Orochimaru as their favorite character. Don't worry. But he was already in my um, picture files, so I was like, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna stick him in there. Orochimaru. I suck him in A tier. Um, somebody would be so mad if I put Orochimaru over Neji, like, in A tier. I don't, I don't know. But I really love Orochimaru, and I don't know why. Every time I see him, I'm like, you're such a dick. But I love you. I'm gonna stick Orochimaru in, in um, B tier as well, because I love him. I know. I have a soft spot for all the seinen, honestly, so... And speaking of the of the next scene, and we have Jiraiya Sama. Jiraiya is fucking S tier, no questions asked. He's S tier. I love him. I love him so much. Um, Rukia from Bleach. I have not finished Bleach, um, but Rukia was my favorite. I think after Ichigo, Rukia was my favorite character. So I'm gonna put her in B. Just because I didn't, like I said, I didn't finish watching Bleach, but I know she would have been, like, one of my favorites. So. Sebastian Mikaelis. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm going to put him in A. Sebastian is the best part of Black Butler. I wouldn't say Black Butler is, like, an anime that I really like, um, but I will say that I love Sebastian as a character, so... I'm gonna put him in A tier. He was the best part of Black Butler. It's really hard sometimes for some people. Black Butler can be kind of hard for people to get through. Like aesthetically, it's a really cool show. Um, the writing's not bad, and the story in the beginning is really good. But towards the end, I'm just kind of like, eh. and then like season two was like a big no for me. I haven't watched Book of Circus. I think that's the third one, but everybody says that one's way better. But Right now, I'm just going to say Sebastian is A tier, just because even if he was in a completely different show, I would still love him. So, Sebastian A tier, good character. Shigure Soma. Shigure. I have a love-hate relationship with him. Um, it's not that he's not, you know, if you know Shigure, you know he's like a, he's got a little sneaky side. He's a little sneaky, so I'm going to put him in... C tier. I don't know. He's not my favorite Soma. He's definitely like low on the list. He's not a bad character like because he provides that you know the edge, the edginess that you need I guess for um, Fruits Basket but I don't know. Shikamaru! Okay first of all three people. Three different people said Shikamaru and honestly I if I would be done with Naruto, maybe he would be an S tier, like Naruto, I would say. But for now, I'm gonna put him in A tier. I love Shikamaru, don't don't get me wrong, he's amazing. Um, but I'm gonna do, he's gonna go in A tier for now. Until the next time, until I finish Shippuden, he's going to A tier because he is a good boy and he deserves to be up there. He deserves everything he gets, okay? Um, Aizawa Sensei. Um, from Boku no Hero Academia. I'm gonna, I am gonna put him in B. Just cause... He's gonna go for B. I'm feeling like Aizawa's B for me. So that's where he's gonna go. Mafuyu from Given. I haven't finished Given yet. I'm still on episode 5. So, I'm gonna put him... Oh, I know he's a good boy. And I know Melissa and Natasha would be so sad. They're gonna be so sad, but, uh... I'm gonna put him in C. It's not that I don't like him, and he's not a bad character, I just... I don't know. He's just... I'm feeling like he's C for me right now. Toru Honda, S tier! <laughs> so fast! I would die for you, Toru, in a heartbeat. She's S tier. She's amazing. I don't care what anybody says. She is everything. She's everything. We all need Toru in our lives. Okay, next we have Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Um, he... Tanjiro's hard. I feel like... I want to put him in A tier, but I also really love him enough to, like, he's such a sweet bean. But I think if somebody had given me, like, Nezko, I would put her in S tier. I don't know. I just love Nezko so much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put Tanjiro in A tier. He's great. I love Tanjiro. I'm going to change one real quick. Leo 
from Promare. I'm going to put him at C just because I don't know him yet. And I think putting him at on B was just a little unfair <laughs> because I don't um, know him as a character yet. So I don't know if I truly really like him. Like I said, aesthetically, he was like a B. He looks really cool. But I'm going to move him back. I'm going to move him to C. Um, Kagame from Inuyasha. I'm going to put her at... I don't know if I want to put her on A or B. I love Kagami. I probably love Kagami more than I love Inuyasha, to be honest. Mm, but I'm going to put her on A. Just because, yeah, I would put Kagami there. And I'd probably put Inuyasha on B, too. I love him, though. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm thinking out loud. Hawk! S tier. Hawk is going to S tier, okay? Hawk from Yona of the Dawn. Fucking, he has everything. I would tie for you, Hawk. <laughs> like, straight up. No doubt. Um, Hawk from Yona of the Dawn. If you haven't seen Yona of the Dawn, what are you doing with your life? But Hawk is the greatest. I love him so much. Uraraka Ochiko from Boku no Hair Academia. I'm gonna put her in B. I love her, and I was given these two, I was given Bakugo and Uraraka together. <laughs> And um, I love them together. I, I hope that they are. I ship them wholeheartedly. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm a Kachiko shipper. Like, fuck yes. But, and we know, and I love, I love Araka. She's, you know, we stand a frugal queen. She's a Capricorn. She, but, um, I don't know. I just put her at B. So second to last, we have Yato from Noragami. Um, I haven't finished watching that yet. I really want to. I'm on episode seven. I've but I like left off on it so long ago that I'm probably gonna have to rewatch it. But I did really like him, so I'm gonna put him in B tier. Yeah, I liked him as a character for sure. Um, and last but not least, Sabuza from Naruto. Sabuza, where are you gonna go? Um, Sabuza, like the thing is, like I kind of hated him more than I loved him because I hated him from the majority of the episodes because he was giving everyone a hard time, especially Kakashi, who was like the fucking poppy of my dreams so um not that he didn't have a good redemption story but if if somebody had given me Haku I would have put in Haku at, at B and I would have just kept Sabuza at C so I'm gonna give Sabuza a C tier <laughs> not because he wasn't a good character aesthetically really cool um really strong really badass but that's just where I'm gonna that's just my personal opinion this is a lot of fun to do <laughs> Thank you to every single person who actually submitted characters for me. I really appreciate it. I was really wanting to do this. I hope that this um, came out pretty decent. I ended up not needing these after all. I know how PewDiePie feels now. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> People make fun of him for wearing those um, headphones and he's not even listening to anything. Yeah. It just made you feel, it just makes you feel a little bit more professional, I guess. Kind of professional here. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what you think of my ranking in the placement. Did I piss you off? <laughs> Let me know. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!